Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Hashirama, first Hokage from Naruto, with his several thousand hands thing in the background, right? So the hardest part about this drawing is all those hands, right? It's going to take a while, so just so you know. So we've Hashirama in the front, bit of the statue, that Boha Vista sort of god thing in the background, just above his head. And then like circles of hands going around. So take your time. It's it's a long process, all those hands, right? So you'll be sick of drawing hands if you if you follow this whole thing. So I'm on landscape paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So we're gonna start with eyes, right? So Hashirama is kind of down here because we needed some room just to put in the Buddha, right? So he's kind of down here. So we're below the halfway point a little bit. So just down here for his eyes, right? Just along this line. And we start with his right eyelid. So we'll go diagonal and across like so. And then we'll bring it down this way. And then underneath and back into here. You thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. So, and then his iris and his pupil, just a half circle there, and a black half circle here. So, his eye is like cut in half by his top eyelid. So then we come over and do the same thing. So your eye width, right? You can fit an eye in between his two eyes. Right, and his, his next eye will start about here. So eye width roughly will fit in between his two eyes. And that's where you start the next eye. So we go up and across. And then we bring it down the back. And then underneath, like so. And again, you can kind of thicken up top eyelid a little bit. Okay, iris again, half circle. There, and then his pupil, a half circle, smaller, up the top. Roughly like that. So then we have his headband that comes right across his eyes, okay? Like so. And he's frowning, so his eyebrows sort of tick and go up underneath the headband. So we tick up this way, right? And we'll just add a section of darkness, so like here. You can color that brown or black. Choice is yours. And then other side, same thing again. Tick up underneath the headband. and add a section that you can color in, back that way. So we have a certain amount of wrinkles sort of coming around his nose here. You know, because he's like angry and stuff, like so. And then his nostrils, so we just go down and add, let's say this is, yeah, his nostrils just down here. One there, one here. And then his mouth, so just a flat sort of line coming across and down. And then his chin, just about here. Across, up, side of his face. Check proportions now, eyes to nose, about the same as nose to chin, right? Like center of his pupil to his nose, about the same as nose to chin, and then nose to bottom lip line, about the same as bottom lip line, bottom lip area to chin. So like here to here, about the same as here to here. Okay, and then we'll do his jaw. 
so it just comes up the side. Like so. And we got long hair that comes down the side of his face, all the way down from this, the top of the headband up here. So these long strands of hair sort of cut off the side of his face, kind of thing like that. And then we finish the headband inside here. Comes across and we have the metal plate then. So the metal plate might have like an extra line on top there. And then we have the leaf spiral. So the leaf spiral is normally done with two lines, but I can't do two, I can only do one. But if you want to double it up, you can. So we just do a spiral out to a tail and then a beak, just there, right? If you want to double it up if you're drawing with a pencil, which I recommend, or a thinner pen, you could do two lines, you know, to make it look like it's scratched into the headband. And then bolts just on the headband here. And on his face then we have his Senju sort of marks. So they're not really drawn in with black ink. They're done sort of green, sort of sometimes green. And then in the Ninja War they were like dark black, but But we'll draw them in anyway, just so we know where they all go. So it comes out from around his face. We've got like a spike here, comes back. Another one spikes down, curves around, should I say, sort of that way. And then this one goes around into there. And then it sort of goes around his eye. Back up here and then around the top of his eye. There. And you do sort of the same thing over this side. Just copying the shape on the other side as best you can. Like so. Okay, so then sort the uh, rest of his hair spikes. So this comes down the other side to a point. Like so, and then we got his ears in behind here. So curves down and in. One, next one. Like so, and you can add bones and ligaments inside there. The easiest way, letter J, right? And then if you want to make it a bit more tricky or more detailed, you can add some little stuff around the J. So easiest way, letter J. And then just a few more. Okay, so. So we got, he's doing a jutsu in front of his his face and then he's got armor and stuff on. So where will we, what do we do first? We'll do, we'll do his rest of his head. So his head comes around here. So down, fairly straightforward, not a lot of hair spikes or anything just down here. So we're stopping just below his ears because that's where his armor starts. So this armor comes around the back of his head and comes down the front. So like we'll draw, we'll draw the shoulder pads and then we'll get his hands in and then we'll join them up together. So. comes around like so and this one will come out about the same level 
coming down here, right? And this comes down further, comes out then, and it goes underneath another one, right? So say the back of this here, and then this comes out like so, right? So roughly, like so, just copying the other side. Goes underneath one, there. So then they have these sort of stitching, sort of holding them on. So you do these sorts of oval shapes, and then you do the next one. So another sort of rectangle. Like so, and then out to there, there, and then the next one. This one kind of angles more down, kind of sits off his shoulder here. That and then we do the same thing pretty much on the other side. So you do these sort of oval things, and then the next armor plate goes underneath the next one again. Stitching line there, and then this. Comes down. And to there. Right, so then his hands are in jutsu position, right? So we've got his fingers all sort of close together, right? So just below his chin is where his little fingers will start. So we'll do these two sort of bumps, right? Just below his chin. There, kind of like a letter M or something. And then we'll bring his fingers down. The outside, kind of just make that a bit longer. And then we have a line going pretty much straight kind of down the middle. It can be a little bit bumpy, you know, because it is skin and hands and stuff. So making it a little bit bumpy will make it look more like fingers. And then these hands curve out the bottom. Like that. And then we'll finish these fingers. So we go bumpy sort of line down for fingers again. You know, because you've all knuckles and things in there. So it's not like a straight line down. And then you could have fingernails there. And then we have two more, well, three more sets of fingers, right? So we got a line up the middle. Comes down. This way, so like another bump, and then comes down that way. Then another upside here. And then maybe we can see a little bit more of his index just coming over his mouth. So whatever parts of his face you draw over, you can just erase them, you know. You can just erase the lines. And then we'll bring his hands down this way, right? And we'll do these sort of fingers first because they sort of go out down the outside of the hand. Down for his sleeve, down to there. And you got some sleeve here. Do the same thing over here. So we go down the hand, kind of bumping, knuckles sort of lines, and then we add his sleeve just here. 
Let me just finish some of these fingers. So down here again. And put some fingernails. Like that. I'll just get rid of these lines underneath the fingers. I don't like looking at them. Okay, so then we'll join his arms up to his shoulders. So we've got these sleeves or sort of wristband areas just on his fingers here. Or on his arms, should I say. Like that, and then more sleeve and elbow comes out from underneath his shoulder up here. This comes down. And they go back up underneath, sort of there somewhere. Just goes off the bottom of my page a little bit, but. Let's see, how big is it? Yeah, it does, I think it goes off my page. Mm -hmm. And then the other arm, so up this way. This one stays on my page. Goes up around his elbow. Goes back up underneath his arm or up towards his shoulder. Just up there. Then we have an armor plate along the front of his chest. This comes down here. Down diagonal that way. Side of his body just sort of here. And then there's straps that go up around his shoulders. So, and then lines for clothing and his armpit and like stuff folds for like his bicep and you know, where his clothes sort of fold around his chest and stuff. Like so. And we can't really see much of his neck, but we can see maybe like some of his collar just here. Then another one going around there. And then, so his neck goes up underneath his ear. You could have like some folding lines just coming up this way. And the shoulder, so where would his shoulder be roughly? So we have black armor. Just trying to find a different, yeah, so that's like a, a black polo neck sort of collar. Okay, I'll go like up there somewhere. And his head, it was sort of hunched over here, so where would his neck, shoulders be? So like here, shoulder goes up under the armor. You can't really see it, it's all in shadow. Maybe, maybe up here. Does that look good? Like so. Right, so the, the, the couple of thousand hands or several ha thousand hands statue behind him. So it's an unusual sort of thing. So I'm just getting moving images here now. So
right so I'll probably I'll probably have to zoom in just up here right but the face for this thing is like right here and he's got something sitting on top of his head but I won't be able to sort of draw the details of that but we get his head in anyway right so we start with the eyes just above the head up here so we'll go diagonal across for the eye and then down underneath so he's kind of like a wooden carving so there's not much detail and then we do sort of the same thing on the other side there like so and his nose comes down the front here and then we got his mouth there and he seems to have like a mustache or something coming down the side of the face here like so and then the bottom lip and then he has Buddha thing or something on the top of his forehead. So then his chin, just here at the bottom of these mustaches, up the side of his head, there. And then his side of his face goes up this way. to here and so then he has big drooping sort of Buddha like earlobes ears coming around the bottom like that bones and ligaments and things on the inside roughly like so and then he has like five heads on going around in a crown sort of like way around here right so you just gotta roughly sketch these in so we got like head shapes like shaped like an egg just there so there's one and they sort of go around the face One there, and then another one. Like that. Another one here. Another one here. Right, and then these guys have eyes as well so you just draw we won't we won't be able to do much detail so we just draw sort of lines like like so Roughly like this. And then, so the top of his head, just here. Brown like so. And then he has like another thing on top of his um, body. So it's like, a, it's like a gargoyle or something sitting on his head. But we'll just sort of do in general sort of shapes. So we'll go. leg here trousers and like a foot and there's like a dragon's tail up around here and then hands again in prayer 
So we're just trying to roughly sketch in what we can see because like that and then that arm comes around here and then we have like a dragon's head or something coming down so it's like a triangle just here with a beak and like an eye and then So I'm not looking for like major detail now in this. I'm just adding sort of these sorts of lines to sort of just trick people into thinking there's something here, you know, because when something's this small, it's quite difficult to get a lot of detail into it. And I think this guy has like a face as well. So his hands are there and then he's a head. Big sort of gargoyle head. Mouth, eyes. And this dragon's back goes behind his head. All the way around here. So like something like that anyway. That's the best I can do with that now. All right, so now, so a compass or something circular will be helpful for the next few parts because we got to draw circles for hands and keep them in sort of circular fashion, right? Before we do that, I'll just finish this guy's shoulders. So this kimono sort of thing comes down here, neck and shoulder goes off this way and we have it's like a robe or a kimono or something here and then shoulder comes down this way necklines coming across and he is like all just to show that it's wood right we gotta like do these lines coming down across the statue itself like the grain of wood, you know. It's going diagonal across his body. Okay, so that's him, right? And then we've got like two circles and then loads of circles of hands that come all around here, okay? So we'll just start this first circular area, right? So like, so if you have a compass or something like a big plate or like something circular that you can draw around, go for it. But if not, try your, try your hand at sketchy sketch. Right, so we're just going for this sort of big sort of moon, big circle around Hashirama's head, right? Like a halo. And then there's another one, another line. You just go out around that again. Try and keep the same width. Which goes off the top of my page there and then comes down into here. So you're just sort of doing that sort of stuff. 
And then inside here, we've got like lots of wood grain and lines like this, right? All on the edge of the wood as well. Right, so lots of that. Now, so hands, okay? So you're gonna have like a circle of hands and you want them to be nearly lined up perf perfectly circular. So if you wanna draw like another circle, just about this level. So these would be like the tips of his hands going around here. You know, you want them to be sort of the same, on this same circular shape. And then there's another layer and then another layer, okay? So, there's no easy way to do this, right? But I'll just start the one that sticks out like right here. So right, so the hand sort of sticks out here. Sort of straight out, and then we have thumb comes around there. And comes down, they're kind of simply drawn hands, so it's not like too difficult. So we got like one. Right, like that. And then they go all the way around, okay? So I might speed this part up, but once you get this sort of idea of what it is I'm doing, you know, there's no magic to it. You just do your thumb sort of like this. side of the hand and then you just go around for each finger and then we just do it again Right, or I'm just gonna speed this part up now. So I'm, I'm gonna stop talking, because that's basically all you do, and you go all the way around, same thing, okay? So, go. <laughs> okay, so that's the first thing. I'm immediately regretting doing this. <laughs> so, now we have to do it again and maybe some arms along here. So whatever you can fit, there's three rows, right, of hands. So we gotta go again, right? And we can see like the full arm coming out from this one. So say here, so we can see like the arm, but it's the same sort of thing, right? So we go down around for the thumb, add your fingers, just bump it around. And then down again, but you go a little bit longer because we've got the, like the forearm, right? And every now and then you'll have like cracks of wood and stuff on these, right? So like, you know, lines like that. And then you do this all the way around and all the way around here. And see the way it, like they, they sort of line up real perfectly circular. So you're trying to get that circular shape. So again, if you have a compass, like a big compass, or a big plate that'll help you get that line or sketch it slowly. That would help. Right, so I'll just crack on and get some more of this done.
Um, so just down at this corner, so we have some hands starting again here, some more arms, right? So we just, we can just see a few, a few more room, of course, you can do another layer, but I can only fit in a few, thank God. Right, so like... Some more arms like coming off this way. Let's give like another layer of arms going this way. some cracks and things every now and then just for the wood grain effect one more here this meets like some more fingers but there should be another hand here So, okay, so is that it? Is it just three layers? Yeah, three layers, right, of hands. And we gotta do that now over here. So you just, same thing again. Okay, and then we just add some texture lines, and you know what? I'm never drawing this again. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> this is pretty. Uh, my eyes are tired. I'm like dizzy looking at all these hands. That is like, oh no, I put, I put one in the wrong place. Did I? No, it's okay. Right, um, that's it. Man, that took a while. Okay, that's how to draw Hashirama with his thousand, several thousand hands. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one after I wake up from my sleep because I'm so tired. Okay, <laughs> bye.